town feels today. Wait, the tutorial level! Oh, my favorite! Oh, I love tutorials! <laughs> oh well. <gasps> Pretty! Even this place is getting overrun with monsters. They're not monsters! These are my favorite characters of all time. Pretties. Is Zenon's curse getting stronger? I better hurry before everyone loses their memories and turns into real monsters. They're so cute and they're our first enemies. I want them on my team. Huh, you fool. Take you to my father? Do you think I would blindly obey you? Mm-hmm. I don't think so. All enemies shall meet with <laughs> death. These lowly monsters shall feast on you. Oh my god, look at that one pretty. Then I shall finally be free of these odious circumstances. <laughs> I don't know about that. You might want to watch your back. <laughs> I like how Adele just watched it all happen. Ouch! Critical hit. Go, Prinny! What are you doing? You dolts! I am the daughter of Overlord Xenon! Such a violent act shall not be forgiven! They clearly don't care. <sighs> They're just gonna ballet. Care, They're... Dude. Our boss is gonna take out Overlord Xenon! So eat Prinny Bombs, dude! <laughs> I love Prinny so much! I like how they just ballet into position. What did you say? Are you confessing to be lackeys of some charlatan plotting to kill my father? You got it, dude. We're lucky we found you out here, dude. Dude. Uh, hey, what happens now? Obviously, we kick their ass. Adele knows yes. what's up. Excellent plan. However, there is a slight problem. What kind of problem? I... I do not know how to fight. You're joking, right? I do not joke with peasants. Oh no. This is the fighting tutorial. Would you like to view this tutorial? I'm gonna say no because I played 3 and 4, so I'm guessing it's somewhat similar. So, if it's different, I might mess up a bit, but I don't really want to go to a whole tutorial for this. Watson, Rodriguez, and Azuria. Don't know how I feel about those themes. Let's move him right here. I like how you can use the mouse to play through this game at the moment. Alright, so we're gonna attack this one. We can also take out another character at the same time. You can plan your whole turn before you actually go for the attacking. Alright, can I do any attack to me here? Special attacks? Oh, I can attack from a distance! Can I? Oh yeah, I can attack from a distance. What type of weapon do I have? Is it now Watson? Okay, we'll have just Watson. Don't think he can attack any- <laughs> Well, he can attack Rosalind from here, but we're gonna have him defend. Because he needs to gain some distance first. Actually, <gasps> this guy might be able to do something. Wait, no, I need to send you back. Rodriguez, stay out there. Prepare yourself. Okay, yeah, we might be able to use fire on him. Oh, yes, we can use fire from the distance. All right. And we'll send out Azuria just in case we need some healing done. And she has an arrow, so she can also hit from a distance. So now we can execute, end turn, or all these types of things. We've done all our actions, so we'll end turn now. But I'm glad I remember how to play this properly. I didn't really want to deal with the tutorial. Enemy turn! Ready, dude. Oh no! Wait, why is he do like no damage to me? Oh, we have the counter ability! Awesome! That's super helpful! Alright, let's see, who do I wanna... Actually, you know, maybe Adele can get him from behind? Yeah, let's get him from behind. Behind does more attack damage, so it's worth sneaking around them. Doesn't really seem to have many skills yet. I think Rosalind has a skill... No, actually, Rosalind has absolutely no skills. Never mind, actually, no, you're gonna come back here. And the fight is gonna be the one that moves closer first. We'll go to the side, because the side also does more damage. And... Also, I think there's better accuracy from the side and the back than the front. 
This guy is gonna go for his fire attack. As you can see here, there's experience for your spells. So you also get experience for your spells so you can level them up. And now we've also got Rosalind. She's just gonna attack for distance. Not, not Adele. I know she holds some good beef with Adele, but she doesn't need to hit him about it. I can probably do this from a distance, but I'm gonna do it from right here because I don't think this thing will take too long to kill. Probably just one turn. We probably don't even need all these attacks. Yep, yeah, two took him down. Stage clear! Kill bonus! Look at that money! Also, the better you do in a match, the more bonuses you get, so... I think it's like, depends on damage and stuff like that, kind of. But you can get better items during the bonus list. So we got a Paul Love, Experience was 12, but further down the list, we can get some new items. Like Caterpillar Egg, Dried Worm, Broadsword, so it's worth trying to get those. No, I don't want to skip the story. The shops? What, you don't know about the shops, Rosalind? Then let me explain it to you, honey. Yes, I'd like to see that. Yay! There are three kinds of shops where you can buy and sell items. The weapon merchant, armor merchant, and the general store. You're going to need money to buy items, naturally. You might want to buy better equipment for your next battle. So I need money? I have never tried this shopping thing. I find it surprisingly exhilarating. Hey, don't spend all my money. Depending on whether you decide to focus on weapon or armor, your fighting style will change. Each character can only equip one weapon and up to three pieces of armor. Oh no, we've introduced you to shopping, it's over. Don't forget to go to the hospital to heal your friends when they are hurt. I understand, now let us depart. Okay, let's check out the shops up here now that they mentioned it. Let's see if we can get some weapons. Have they got much good things in here? I suggest you equip a weapon that the character is good with. Character is good with swords, should use swords. Proficiency will improve and special skills can be learned. Weapon mastery. Characters that are not good with swords can also learn sword skills. But the speed of learning will be much slower. Also, you will be unable to use sword skills if the sword is not equipped. Skill is usable if you equip sword again. At the beginning, you should concentrate on training with a weapon you're good at. Alright, we also have a product rank and a customer rank, all that kind of stuff. So... Oh, let's see. Oh, we have the warrant gloves, though. Those are the best gloves that we need. And uh, we got. Does anyone use one of these sword things, actually? Broadsword. Let me check. Broadsword. I don't think that's the greatest thing for you. No, it's not really your type of weapon. Okay, so they have a lot of stuff in the shop, but I don't think I'm gonna buy too much from the shop just yet. Maybe from the general store. When you think items, people usually prioritize weapons and armor, but recovery items are really important too. We provide you with things you need in times of emergency. That is the general shop. Well, enjoy shopping! Okay, okay, we got candy, all this kind of stuff. I feel like right now maybe I should just save my money rather than cash it out on a load of things. Maybe? And we at the Rosin Queen Co. work day and night to provide our customers with a variety of products that make you happy. Our products will change each time you enter the shop. If you don't like the products, you can leave and re-enter the shop again. Please enjoy your shopping experience. A lot of old plots, a lot of... Oh, wait, maybe we can use a buckler. Let's check. Try. <gasps> oh, I can use a buckler. I bought it, but now I'm broke. Okay, that's enough buying in the shop. And see, our product... Rank went up just there, so once that goes up, we will be able to get more items and stuff like that. Another Royal Hospital, welcome to another Royal Hospital. We at this hospital recover all damage you have been dealt. At that time, depending on how much HP and SP you need recovered, you will need to pay us a little fee. Depending on how much HP and SP you have restored total, you will be able to receive gifts, so have fun getting hurt. That's a horrible way to put it. Uh, let's just heal everyone as much as they need to be healed. And maybe we can claim some prizes soon, but not right now. Alright, let's go to the next stage. Where do we want to go to Town Fields? Tutorial numero two. My favorite. Oh, they're in different places. No. I may regret not doing this, but... From three to four, I think I have a decent idea of how to play the game. I'm not an expert. So, don't expect any professional plays right here. I'm gonna send the devil over this side. Oh, you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, one of the things we do have is. We're gonna bring it 
Adele back? No, no, no. Adele, can I undo what he's done? Yes, all right. So if we move Adele over here, and we have Madam here, lift Adele, as you do <laughs> that sound, then you can throw him right over here so he lands right in front of the pretty and he can attack all in the same turn. But that uses a Rosalind's move for that turn. But it's pretty cool that you can throw people around so you can get them to where you want them to go much easier. So I might leave you and send out one of these first so I can show you over. Get over there! Okay, we're gonna send Watson afterwards. So the Watson can be thrown over too. Pick up Watson. Throw him over. How far can I throw him? Only three steps actually, you know, maybe, maybe I'll change this around a little bit And instead of Rodriguez getting shown I mean, instead of him getting shown, we're gonna show Rodriguez over Wait, watch this, she's gonna lift him And then Wait, actually I have an idea Then he's gonna lift her Then we can do double the tails What's this? And now we land right in front of the Primmy. All in one turn, so we got at least a little bit, bit of damage done in this turn. None of them will be killed, but at least we've gotten towards them a bit quicker than we would have if we just didn't do any lifting. These guys do no damage to us. I want one on my team, regardless of the fact it's doing no damage to anyone. I guess it's a tutorial, maybe that's why. Counter! If only the other guy up there had counter as well. Well, I'm gonna have you sneak around behind this one. Can you give it a whack to the head from behind? Then you can use your... Wait. Well, if I move you, you might actually have to hit. So I'm gonna move you over here. So you can hit this one from behind. Not that one. Sutori. Not Grindel. Grindel's fine. Grindel's absolutely A-OK. -okay. Grindel is perfect. I love Grindel. We're gonna attack this one. And I don't think we're gonna need it to this turn. Let's just try to execute that much for this turn. I think it should finish them all. Or maybe not. Oh, we got a chest! We broke the chest and we got 100 HL. That sometimes happens when you're on stages too. So you should watch out for the chest in case you get the opportunity. Alright, that's not gonna work out. So let's do some showing business maybe. Oh, yes, I might be able to chill him over and give him the help. I think if I throw him from here... I might be able to move afterwards because he hasn't moved at all this turn. Oh, I can go right in front of his face! Oh, he has really long throwing distance. Okay, so Fire should be able to finish off pretty this turn. And execute! Rest in peace, pretty! Stage clear! Okay, we got the weak... The weak axe! That's good. And the iron axe. Let's try tutorial number three. Oh, yes, they have these in this game. No, I will not view. I, I know how these work, so I will be able to explain it as we're going along. But this is interesting. See these? On each of the platforms, they have like a little box like this. I'm not sure if it's like the other games where they let you throw it or not. But basically, they have different specialties. Like this this panel right here, you get 50% plus experience from killing enemies on it. But from this panel over here, the enemies have a 50% boost in power. So, your best bet is to try to destroy. Destroy these. Or you could get this one. And throw it, throw it onto this one. Explode this. It will hit the red one, and it will explode the entire thing. But personally, I think it's better to just try to get everything on the red over here. I might be missing a couple details, but that's what I remember. We will see how it goes as we go along. Okay, so first let's try to destroy the thing that's over there. I don't think we want it there. It's not going to be very helpful to us, and we don't want the enemies having an upper hand on us. Watson, move your butt over there. I will figure out who's lifting, who in what order. I just want to make sure we destroy the block. Alright, so... 
You are going to... No, I got this. She's gonna lift her. Wait. Yeah, she'll lift Azuria. He'll lift... Rosalyn. He'll also lift... Rodriguez. And Adele will also lift Watson. See, this is like a towering effect, so I can throw all of them. Oh, actually, I might have only needed two for this. But oh well. Just in case you get quite a few of us over here. Uh, at this point, we're just gonna be throwing them in a circle around the thing. But oh well, what can you do? Throw right here. And now, she's gonna try to destroy it. What's your spell shot? Okay, that's just healing. A uh, Geo symbol. Even though, actually, this does a bit of damage to people who are standing on the panel when you destroy it. So this might be a bad idea. Oh, and sometimes if your characters are beside each other, they do like a duo attack where they just hit them together. Or sometimes a trio attack, or there could be four people in an attack, I think. Which is really cool. I'm gonna end turn. We destroyed it anyway. Dude, pretty, dude. Dude, pretty no. Well, if he does no damage, I'm gonna try to get the extra experience though. So we're gonna bring him back to the to the geo block back here. The geo block looks different in this game than three and four though. So now this plan all has no powers. Just what I wanted. Okay, so we're gonna move him back here. We're gonna bring everyone over to this side just so that the prinnies they actually oh, we can hit this one and it will give us the extra experience. All right, let's move you right over here. So you can use fire. Let's use fire on this one over here, actually. Because these two will have the opportunity to hit this one. I'm just hoping Adele doesn't attract any attention over there. All right, you're gonna use your attack on him. You could probably do that from a distance, actually. But I just feel like bringing you over to that side in case they would think about crossing the lines. I don't want that to happen. Okay, let's hit the donuts. And Adele, you need to start getting your butt over here before you fall behind. Oh no, Adele's probably gonna kill that one though if he goes over. Oh well. Actually, you know, I'll move him like one step forward. So then I don't think the pretty can reach us. Okay, I think this should work out in our favor so we can kill everyone on that panel. See, your little magician gotta level up. And they went for a duo attack. Oh, okay, there's only one of me left. But I'm gonna end the turn right there. Maybe I should have defended, but I, I left it. Yeah, defending might have helped. Except for the fact he does no damage whatsoever. Rosalind's gonna go for an attack. And I think these two should just finish them off, so I don't think we really need to worry about it too much. I'd probably get more experience if I just destroy the geo block. I would get more experience for the bonus list, but I don't really want that. I just want extra experience in general. Open soda and broadsword. Open soda doesn't sound that appealing to me, to be honest. Just saying. Well, guys, I'm gonna end this episode off here, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!